Okay, so you've seen that's what we do uh, every day. Now, once a week I'll do the chain, okay? Now the chain just needs to be cleaned properly. Uh, so what I normally do is I'll use a kind of brush uh, with some washing, uh, white wash, not, not, obviously not washing up liquid, but uh, white wash, and I'll give it a, uh, kind of a, a scrub off. Uh, so I'll give it a scrub, get rid of all the all the bits of uh, dirt and grime that's stuck in the chain, uh, let it dry, and I'll show you how I put the oil on afterwards. So basically, guys, with the chain, just giving it a scrub, and then move it round, and we'll keep on giving it a scrub all the way around, just to make sure we get all this bit here clean as well. So that's the chain clean, uh, washed off with some water. Uh, what we're going to do now is obviously we're going to let that dry naturally. So I'm um, going to give this a wipe off, give the the kind of tyres and the frame a wipe off, uh, and then obviously I'm going to let the chain dry. Um, I normally I let this dry kind of on its own. I don't like using a towel or anything because we end up getting lots of fluff all over it and. It's just easier just to let it dry for, for an hour or so and when it's fully dry then I'll show you how I'm going to put the oil on. Okay guys, so the um, the, the chain is dry now. It's been dry for, for a little while now. Um, probably had this out for about, I don't know, an hour, a couple of hours out in the sun. Um, now it's time to put the oil on, and I always just use the wet bike lubricant. Okay, uh, this is just I don't know finish line, but you can use any type of uh, lubricant. There is you can buy dry or wet. The reason why I buy wet is because we live in a, in the, <laughs> the UK, and it's, it's in the even in the summer sometimes it rains, uh, and it's just easier uh, for me just to have one type. Um, because I use this every day, if it does rain, it doesn't matter. I can, it's got the right lubricant on. But again, like I say, you can use this in the dry or in the rain or the ice. So that's why I'm using it, especially as it's coming up to winter now. So I'm just going to show you how I apply it. Sometimes um, some people will basically just take the oil, uh, take it, and basically just put it onto the chain and spin the wheel as we go along. But I don't do that with the Brompton. Uh, so what? What I'm saying is basically some sometimes what people do is they basically put the oil on and just spin the kind of chain as they're going along and it kind of like puts oil all along it. The thing is though is we only need oil on certain parts of the chain. So it's really these kind of bits where the chain joins, where the, the links join up. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I do it. Now what I normally do is I'll spin the chain, not put any oil on, try and find where the uh, the link is, uh, the split link. So you can see it there. Yeah, so you can see the split link is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure we start from here, and then I know then when we've got round the chain that I've done every single one. Now, what I'm going to do then is to start with is with the oil, put a little bit of oil. One, two. Three, and just work my way around the chain like that. Not much, you can see there, just a little bit of oil. And just uh, turn the chain to the same again. Okay, so we go from here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you know, I just count as I go along, but it doesn't really matter because we've already marked where we're going to be anyway with the split link. Uh, so we know the aim, the aim of this is that I'm not putting too much on I'm just putting on where it needs to be yeah uh, I mean I know that some people like I said they just put it on um, hold it squeeze it and kind of move this chain round but I spend a lot of time then basically just cleaning the wheel off the back wheel from oil splatters and I, I don't want to do that um, and it's just it's just a waste so like I say I'm, I'm not putting a massive amount on I'm only putting it where it needs to be by doing this yeah okay it takes a little bit longer to do but yeah, does it really take that much longer unless you've got a really long chain um, I'm not so sure because I'm already 
think I'm pretty much over halfway anyway. We'll see in a minute, because we'll, in a minute, when we find the split link. Like I say, there's not even putting that much on. If you see how much we're putting on here, that's it. Yeah, just a little, just get oil it. And it's done. Uh, yeah, we, we'll come up to the split link in a second. Just make sure we get every single one, really. Okay. Oh, and there you go. So we can see uh, we've made it back to the split link, which is there. So all I'm going to do is put a little bit of oil there. And there we go, done. That's the split link. That's the last one. All I'm going to do now is just give it a quick little spin. A few times around. We can see that there's not actually much kind of uh, not excessive amount because yeah we're getting a few little drops but nowhere near as what we would normally get and that's literally it guys okay that's that's all we need to do i'm gonna put the lid back on um but yeah that's how i oil the chain and that's the best way i've found chain's oiled the um the brakes are adjusted and uh, the bike's clean and like i say that's not what we normally do um every every day is clean the bike just give it a wipe over if it's wet save it from going rusty uh, as much as possible and then the chain and the brakes I'll, I'll do the chain once a week on a sunday night also pump the tires up uh, to make sure they're uh, 100 psi and then with the brakes uh, do that maybe twice a week um but yeah you know uh, just make sure that it works like I say, we use our bikes every day. Um, we rely on them a lot, or uh, you know, to go to work, go to school, go shopping. So you just need to make sure that they're kept, uh, kept, maintained, and, and they're, you know, they're going to be good to go straight away as soon as we need them. Um, but yeah, you know, hopefully you found this interesting. Hopefully you have found some of these little things that I do. Maybe have a go next time. Maybe you do them differently, and maybe you do it better than us. Like I say, this is just the way we do it. I'm not saying that other ways are wrong, but you know, it's good to kind of share ideas. So guys, if you if you do it differently to us, um, let us know in the comments. You know, drop a comment below. Let us know. Um, we'll have a go at doing that next time and see how how we find it. Um, but yeah, you know, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, put a like on on the uh, thumbs up, and you know, consider subscribing for more videos like this. And we'll catch you in the next one.